Myself, as well as my students, came upon a wonderful macro opportunity. The whole setup may surprise you, but one thing's for sure, a dynamic backlit photograph was revealed. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Here's your host, Brian Peterson. Clearly, everyone's heard the saying that photography, that is good photography, is always about the light, as if it's something magical and mystical that you can't quite reach. It's always unattainable. It's just out of your grasp. Well, the fact of the matter is, light is around us everywhere, and I'll be the first to admit that the quality of light really does have a tremendous impact on your photographs. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you're watching Adorama TV. Well, I find myself here today in beautiful Oregon along the Oregon coast near the town of Newport. Along with my students, we're all having a fantastic time of shooting some wonderful sand patterns earlier down here at low tide along the shoreline. And now, we, on our way back to the car, I found a feather which we now have appropriately mounted, as you can see here, on top of a head of a tripod. And the reason we're doing this is simply because we want to shoot this feather backlight. As you can see behind the group here, take a look, you can see now the sun, the blue sky, as well as a large swath of hillside that's not in the sunlight. As a result, that hillside is going to come into play as being an opportunity to set up a wonderful image of contrast, again, due to the backlight. Notice the backlight on the feather that you see right here. We've got our 100 millimeter macro lenses on. Because the feather is relatively straight, we can get away with apertures of f11 or 16 because of the parallel subject to the film plane of the camera. It's not curving away or out from that kind of thing like petals of a flower, for example. It's pretty well flush. Therefore, F11 against the backlight, take a meter reading off of the sky to the right or to the left of that sun itself, gives us a shutter speed of a 500th of a second. So then we go in tight, photograph this composition of the feather, and as you clearly see, the feather is glowing because it's lit from behind by the sun, but framed against the hillside, that large swath of dark open shade. That's how you set up this wonderful image of backlighting against black backgrounds. Something you needed to know, and I know you can do this. And until next time, folks, you keep shooting. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.